guys can go ahead and step in slowly, really slow. We need to go a little We're bit. We're ready over here. We're going forward. We're looking for the good action. I'm in on this side. Okay, let's see. Yeah. We're almost there. Let me check. Uh, Soft cut city. Take away the yadi ayahat kagwan tanda chan cut city. Kaiki, you cut do a soft, off not cut city. Take away the ayahat shana hit away hana hidi. Kick city yadi cut city, clean edi dash kanayahat, whoosh di tan dash kanayahat. Cog a foot I am uh, Dr. Tan, and uh, Elizabeth was my aunt by marriage. Thank you. Keith Wu, uh, Declo AD, uh, Peter Karras Jr., President, A and B Camp One. Keith Wein. Nephew of uh, Elizabeth Pravich, mother's side. Mariam Harash, Beche Tom, also nephew of uh, Elizabeth Pravich. And we have our Camp 4 current president, if she'd like to introduce herself also. Josephine M. Johnson, AMS Camp 4 president, Pagwan Tom. So, ladies, if you could please, and if you, uh, Chad, could help hold the rope here, if you could unveil this side and then respond, and then we will have we will have the men unveil that. Side. And Chad, the one, if you could help me, please. And ladies, go ahead and take a look at this. Zach, do you want to mention the artist on this? Certainly. Yeah, Mary Goddard uh, made the Tana, and she would love to be here, but unfortunately she has the sniffles, so she didn't want to share with that. But uh, yeah, she's she's the artist and maker of the Tana. No way, Paulette. Ladies, if you'd like to respond, is, would that be correct, Dion? 
I would like to thank the artists who have given a part of themselves as they uh, decided in what way they would honor Elizabeth Bradford. Uh, the, the artwork of the bench is stunning. It's beautiful. Uh, it's a nod that's along and and the uh, song to let people know why this is important and who she was. None of us would be uh, voting if not for these folks. We we would have uh, we would have been stuck back in the past somewhere and among all of you Everyone does their part to move us forward. And it's not just one person or one leader. It's everyone in the community that steps forward and the allies that are so strong for us. And we are uh, fortunate to live in this community. And um, it is our pleasure to honor Elizabeth in this way and uh, I'm, I'm very grateful to each and every person that has come out and that has helped us on this project and many others in the past and look forward to that in the future as well and uh, you're, uh, you make this a fabulous place to live, gonna achieve all of you, gonna achieve. I think as we stand in the presence of this monument, and it is a monument, um, there are so many things that really come to mind. I, I think in the past few years, we've really started to think a lot more deeply about what kind of monuments we have and what kinds of, um, what kind of people we honor and when it comes to looking at someone like Elizabeth Paradovich, we remember, of course, the power of words. But we also know that that's not everybody's strength. There are some people who would rather stay behind in the background and quietly do the work. And, you know, we also think about strong and powerful women, which multiple societies still struggle with. And I think sometimes Elizabeth and her quiet and gentle manner is sort of used as a way to remind us, the rest of us who are maybe not as quiet and not as gentle, <laughs> that that's sort of the way people want us to lead. But I think that one of the biggest lessons that we can take from Elizabeth Paradovich, aside from the power of words and aside from um, the, the way that she wielded her power, is that we all come forward to do the things that we can do best to lend our time and our talents to the causes that are important to us to take down the monuments that don't represent the way we want to be represented and to put up the monuments that do and whether we're looking at taking those down or putting those up you know like like our like our revered elder here said it, it takes everyone and so in the past few years, we really have been blessed to see who's willing to do the work, who's willing to lend their voices or lend their names, um, or to just silently stand with us when things are difficult, and then come celebrate with us when things need to be celebrated. And so I think we all can just make sure that we understand that we can lend whatever it is that we're able to lend, and we honor those who came before by doing so. So I would just like to say good enough to, to the folks who, who made this, who made all the parts of it, and who made it happen, and to all who are just here today uh, to celebrate with us. Good enough, Cheech. Good enough, Cheech.